This is another episode on another note. Episode three, might I ask? We getting up there, we getting up there. Looking hey y'all. Hey, how y'all doing? What's up, girls? We chilling, chilling. All right, before we get into this conversation, let's get into these shots. Got me grab y'all shots. Good combo. Cheers to a good show. A great show. A great show. New blessings. New blessings. New money. Oh, eat no money. No money. No money. I'll make this year. And make it in the stallion and be Oh, yes, in the new stallion. Yes. H time, stand to up. To be in the stallion. H <laughs> time, stand up. We got y'all taking double shots. Cool. Only grown people can do that. Grown. Real grown. Real grown. Real grown. Real grown. Ooh. So, yes, how long we been waiting on being in the stallion and be on stage? Because I was waiting. I knew it was pop. I was in the middle. Maybe I knew it was gonna come. Yeah, I knew it was gonna come, yeah. but not this one. Like she said, this is the beginning of the year too. Dang. I knew it was gonna come. I thought that legal stuff was gonna kind of fuck it up, but I kind of knew. But she did sign the Rock Nation. I was gonna say, and I think they kind of made a statement like, "That's not stopping us. That's not stopping us." Cause that's that's just a management team. I don't even know why they was tripping on that. There wasn't even nothing that was gonna block nothing y'all had going on. Not taking sides. Did you see what Carl said? Uh uh-uh. uh. About him taking T Ferris in. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah that's, that's, he had nothing going on. So maybe crazy. it was a loyalty thing. It was, I definitely believe it was. I think it was a loyalty yeah. thing. So. And they just was covering it. But up. then they didn't want to say what it really was. Right. They feelings was hurt. And it T Ferris. Like it always be. Yeah. yeah. It always be like And just believe was. somebody's feelings was hurt. And yeah. I think that's where it goes. You can't mix friends. With business. With business. I'm not even gonna say friends. I think they have. I think form. we can't. I think we shouldn't mix business with anything. Like I think if it, I'm saying like if if me and Tony doing business, I know whatever she tell me while we doing business, I'm not gonna take it personal. You get what I'm saying? But that don't you know how to separate. Apply to everybody. Yeah. Oh, well. You know, like you saying, y'all doing business, and yeah. Let's just say Tony go do some shit you ain't know about. Yeah, I'm starting a business and expect, yeah, I'm going to be like, what the fuck? And then it's going to backfire like, damn, he was my friend too. It probably you know, yeah, but no. Not this baby, but I understand. I mean, yeah, yeah. I don't know about you know, it. Yeah. If, you do, if, it's, if it is some fucked up shit, yeah, it's going to be like, I don't know about it. On their part. The yeah. 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 And yeah. then yeah. it's really like a fight behind her because now this is my money. Now you can take it to my money. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right, you reap a lot of benefits well, because you would have given so something. I really man. helped you get, you know, so yeah. But yeah. that's just call side. We don't know T Ferry side. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but we love that album. That day, I said that's gonna do triple when her and Nikki did. Hmm. Triple. Oh, that's yeah. gonna do numbers. It's yeah. already yeah. number that's one. Already. All genres. Yeah, that's. Yeah. They came through with it's the number one on iTunes right now. Like that's so the first song that pop up. <laughs> Like, I was waiting on that one. Oh, Houston was waiting on that one. Houston was waiting on that one. It's only right. It wouldn't have been right if they didn't do a song together. It ain't like and Megan they both bullshit. Houston. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. It ain't like Megan bullshit. Like, she really got to me, so. But I, I really did think she was going to do it later, though. Because I, I thought she was going to wait till she was years into her. That's what it's I was thinking. Her, like, it wouldn't be this her career. Cool. This is very but she don't like Megan. Megan's been out there long. Yeah. Yeah. She had to get that. Take that and run with it. Yeah. But for her to be so surprised, do y'all think she knew? Yeah. <laughs> I think she was knew it was going to happen. I I'm think pretty she, sure she got some phone calls. I think she, you know, music production. I'm but she, she, she probably knew she was going to go through, though. She That's probably was like, oh, I, I, I got a couple it. phone calls about it, but it's probably not gonna go through. And then when she heard it, she was like, Oh my god, it went through. You know, like you know, because they, a lot of different people probably sent verses to go. Yeah, because she wasn't even. I don't think she ever heard it. Yeah, I don't think she ever heard it. Did you see her live? Make the same line? Yeah. She wasn't even in the studio with her. That Beyonce literally did the track and sent them. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's what I'm saying. Because she was like, when I first heard it, so clearly they were in the studio together. So yeah, she sent it. Yeah. That's so creative because you would have swore they was in the studio. No, they was, was not. Way. Beyonce yeah. was adding. Megan the same said that. Her like that. She that, said that on the live yeah. though. She was like, Master she was like, when I first heard it, like I was. I'm like, how you, how you not hear your own music with Guys, Megan? That's what you call a mix and master. Because you would have saw they was, because Beyonce was right behind her with those ad-libs. Yeah. Like, 
like you would have saw that was probably Mike and Mike. Yeah, that's that's what you call good mastering right there. Who the fuck was that producer? That's that's good. That's who the fuck was the engineer? That's a whole song. That's not just one verse. You know, normally when artists send over, they send you over a verse. You get a slot for a verse, mm -hmm. not for two verses and a hook and some ad <laughs> But it's Beyonce, so why not? Right. Just be honest. That. If that was anybody else, it'd be like, I ain't gonna let you take over my song. But because it's Beyonce, I'm gonna let that bitch take over whatever. Because let's be honest, like all Beyonce fans have now come up with Make the Fire Your Fans. Right. Let's be honest. So right. now, right. Beyonce now what worldwide right. is Make the Fire ain't worldwide. She is now. She is now. True. So. I don't give a fuck. Let her take over that bitch. <laughs> I like how Megan changed it though. That was smart. Genius. To yeah. change your whole verse. Yeah, because yeah, I hate when they do the fucking remix. The same verse. Yeah, she finessed it. I hate she, that. Some that version. was smart to like, yeah, I'm going to change my verse. Girl, see how I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to change it right now. Yeah. All right, guys, let's get into this topic. What are we talking about today? Lessons from the past, whether they be uh, career, relationships, business, personal, emotional, mentally, childhood. Yeah, whatever. Whatever lessons we hold dearly to us because well let me say me because i hold lessons dearly because i never take yeah, anything um I, i'm never mad at none, nothing i've been through because it taught me a lot so i don't know how other people because some people might be mad they went through certain shit yeah i'm like that too i'm uh i'm grateful for everything yeah i, I went down because yeah because my mind frame different I like learning, <laughs> and I mean, you ain't learning, and I don't know what you're doing. So, mm, yeah, I love learning, but sometimes when you're going through it, at that moment, it feels like death. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, I can do this. Yeah, um, but after it. you overcome it, right? Then you look back and be like, okay, I don't that know was shit. Yeah. Remember yeah. the last time you thought you were gonna make it? While I'm going through stuff, I feel like, oh my god, this is too. Much you ever felt like that? Tiny, are you yeah. serious? Well, maybe you ain't been through nothing. What you mean? <laughs> like you just said, if you ain't learning, you said, I ain't been through nothing. Not if it felt like death. Like, like I'll be, I'll be, I'll feel away about it, but then you know, after I come back to my life, it's okay. But well, death it might be exaggerated because it ain't it like you're dead. Like, but that it's might be alive. Alive. It's but it's overwhelming. Yeah, it's yeah. very much so. Yeah. Let's use that word overwhelming. like to where you crying in your hands. I don't really cry. Not really crying, but because I don't know. All the women like you want to pussy everybody out around you? That's frustration. Just say it. Say it. Like a yeah. sense of confusion, um, not knowing what to do or. But you know what? No other time. No I guess time. maybe I'm sad when it comes to stuff like that because a lot of the things I go through, I'm mm -hmm. gonna let somebody put me through that shit. Uh, or is it is it because, because this is probably why I don't feel that big on it because I don't get that attached. I don't get attached to a lot of things. It's not necessarily attached mm -hmm. to other people. It may be something not going right in your life. I mean, I'm just, that's what I'm saying. Of something you did. I just don't get that attached to it. Okay, so you never did like something that was big for you? Okay, so like your candle. That's big for you. So if something detrimental happened with your candle business, I probably would feel it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So it got to be something that's but, close to you that's this, this. Maybe if I'm five years in my candle business and something happened then, but right now, because I'm still at so that, oh, yeah, okay. I'm still trying to get well, just just I'm trying to make her put something in perspective. I'm trying to, right? too. I'm like, I, I don't, I never feel like my body and soul. I'm so sad is things that affect my my kids. If it affect my kids, I'm sad. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, like, um, it, I get real sad when it can affect my kids. Then I'm like, okay, I gotta get this shit together. I can't make this mistake again because it's affecting my my kids. Like then I get sad. So it's something okay. like that. And maybe I need mean, maybe it'll come in my thirties, but oh, if you own the business, it's coming. Yeah, maybe no, for real. Uh, whatever y'all go into, <laughs> if you own a business, it's yeah. like your baby Conscious. because your business is actually what you living off of. Right. And if you living off of that and something happen, you will be sad because I don't understand it. yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, I know. Yeah. So I will say that. Maybe I ain't put enough into shit. You just maybe you just ain't been through it. Left, Cause I ain't put nothing but a pinch of salt in it. So that's oh, oh, you ain't like, giving your all. Yeah. Oh, so that's probably why I don't yeah. feel it, mind, body, and soul. I just feel it like body and soul. Yeah, I feel 
body wise, but once mine hit, it's like, bitch, girl, whatever. Shit. Oh, well, then you ain't felt that feeling because you ain't put your all into it. If you put your all into it, you gonna feel that feeling. Yeah, that's what I say. It might come now. Yeah. It might. And come I'm out. not saying like a man. Or nothing. I'm saying I'm like just yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. You put your all into it. Yeah. I move real fast, so I don't even have time. To put my audience on. Like, I don't know why I feel like that's you though. Cause that's your attitude. I'm just saying, even in just everyday life, like that's your attitude though. That's you. So I don't see it. Cause it's it's gonna catch me sleeping. It just ain't time. I've been on time for a minute. I've been on my, on my feet. But I do believe it's gonna come. I just haven't felt it yet. Yeah. But I I have learned from some lessons that I was taking. Like yeah. Like I said, I can do it like this. Childhood, I learned. So always have your own shit. So can nobody rain on your parade. I learned that childhood. I learned that and I learned never to want to be like nobody else. But if it's like something that you can't control though, you know, like things that you can't control, like a quarantine, for instance, that's something that you can't control though. I know you got a candle business, so it's not affecting your candle business, but say you had a um, store and you had to close your store because they never Excuse me, for example, I yeah. was well on my feet DJing. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and then the point that affected off. you, right? Okay, mm -hmm. so something like that is you said, because it's right. me, you know, like it's that something out of your control. Because if it's in your control, of course you gonna do what you gotta do to get mm -hmm. done to get fancy. Yeah, but that's out of your control. Right. You can't control it. So that's I think that part will affect you. Then it'll be like, damn, I can't do shit. Oh, yeah, because I'm a control freak. Uh, anything I can't control. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> me. Anything. So, yeah, that's a fact. You know, okay. I'm a control freak, so anything that I can't control affects me. Okay. It's just so what? Uh, I don't, I haven't felt it yet, mind, body, and soul. You will. Anything. It's been a lot of stuff. Yeah. I'm, I'm, that let I me not say you will, because that, that, that sounds like we like wishing upon her badness. But it's just oh, an open down Let me life. rephrase. It's just an open down the line. I don't wish it in a bad manner. Um, but it's going to happen. Let's just say it. And it's going to feel like like overwhelming. Like, you know. I'm trying to turn me into a pussy. No. no, that shit make you stronger. You're gonna grow it don't make you pussy. You're gonna grow from it. You're See, gonna be strong. But y'all don't have no kids, so y'all don't understand because when you got kids, I be in this whole like any means necessary type shit. Like you gotta be fucked up if you think I'm gonna be harmless with my kids. Like I'm, I'm in this whole like so. Right. That's when you test your ability to adapt to to, to, to yeah. Like I'm like, cause even now, like I'm like, man, come down to this shit now. Nah. Like, no, nah. because it's like, it's more than just me. Like, now I got to keep a roof over my kids' head. And not just the kids, you don't want to lose your kids. Because like, I don't want to lose my kids because I'm home. So it's like, no, nah, no. Bitch, I'm on this whole doing anything I need to do. Advertising, marketing. Oh, bitch, I'm yeah. <laughs> buying books and shit. I don't give a fuck. Like, my livelihood is online every day. So... That's different when it's like that. You know, when you can't call on nobody. Because I can't call on my mama or daddy or what? nobody. So it's like, bitch, you gonna get the shit done no matter what. So, but if even though you doing that no matter what, and that fail or something out of your hand, like the quarantine. Mm -hmm. Which ties to what you say, you can't call nobody, which why I get frustrated a lot. I yeah. can't ask nobody in my family to help me do nothing I'm trying to do. Because they haven't been there. It's not shitting on nobody in my family, but... No, it's, it's, you know, we, I'm trying to do something like, different. You got sister and brothers? Yeah. Um, but they, with my, my little sister is little and my older brother is paralyzed. So it's like on my side. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's my time. Yeah. What you gonna do? You can't call for help. I can't call for help. So I can't like, like, what you, you gonna get up? Or you gonna lay down? Yeah. That's what it feels like. Feel like. It feels like I gotta get this shit done no matter what. If I gotta read some marketing books, some advertising books. I'm gonna get the shit done because I can't do nothing else. I ain't got nothing else. That's it's sadness when you do all that you can and then you still don't feel like it's enough. Yeah. But that's the same. You know you're right. pushing towards something. So that's yeah. that's what keeps me going. I'm pushing towards something. It might not look like nothing right now, but when I look back ten years, I compare everything yeah. to a doctor analogy. They <laughs> kept ten years to get in that hospital. So I haven't been doing anything ten years, so I'm good. Yeah. yeah. I just have to remind myself of that. Yeah. You know? So, but I'm saying, running a business, you're going to feel that. Because it's always obstacles. Well, yeah. It's always obstacles. Like, 
You don't feel like I'm not against it. I do believe it. No, but I'm saying like it. even just regular life, you don't feel like it's always an obstacle. You gotta get over. No matter how you get over this obstacle, it's another obstacle. And then you get over this obstacle, and it's another obstacle. I don't really feel like, but I know they're coming. You know, it's yeah, like, they coming. Now it comes. I like life. obstacles. So you like problem solving? That's good though. In a sense, that's good. So that's maybe why you don't feel that way about it because you like to solve problems. See, many people don't. I don't. Many people don't. I mean, I will. I will if I have yeah. to. If it's, okay, this but I don't problem. like it. <laughs> yeah, I like to see what's next. I'll do it if necessary. That's a good trait. That's really good. That's a fucking yeah. good trait. If I'm going to pick new over old, I'm going with new every time. That's a I, fucking I wanna good go trait. I'm innovative. Yeah. Hell yeah. I, but, no lie, I need that mentality. Because I, I hate going over. I hate new shit. I'm you know, I'm you know what? That's crazy because I'm not afraid to start over. And that's probably the the, the that's symptom good. of having that trait. Don't change it. Because I, I don't care to start over. I'm fine with starting over. I'll shut it down to start over. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm... Oh, fuck, I gotta sort of, I can get out of this work. Fuck, it's, a, it's a blessing in the curse because it get annoying because then I, I'm never stable. You know, yeah. I'm, just, I'm always, well, yeah, I'm never stable enough to see the whole. The finished product. Yeah. What it could have been. I finish it half and I'm like, oh, I'm going to do that. Off. Yep, let's go see what's. Yeah, that makes sense. So it messes with my, I'm not stable. It messes with that. I don't think about it like that, though. Mm-hmm. But but as you can see, it's another obstacle. Yeah. <laughs> Check. So it's like I'm thinking she got a good trait, but it's still another obstacle. We got to well, figure out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, damn. Yeah. Okay. Well, damn. Shit. Yeah, that's life though. They they. It's always the good and the bad with it. It's never all good, but it ain't all bad either. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So what what do y'all all think lessons from y'all past like that you been through that? That you feel like um, you was carrying into your future. Yeah, like you would never do that again. Like, like I'm never. Oh, going. okay. Let's let's start from teenage years. Okay. Like, see, teenage years. But did it didn't affect you in your adult years? Whatever you went through in your teenage years. Yeah. Oh, okay. well, I mean, if you good. if you're carrying the lesson on, it's it's for a good reason. You don't want to ever slip and fall on that again. So true. Right, yeah, so yeah, yeah, if, it's a, yeah, yeah. if it taught you this and you carrying it still, then yeah, you don't want people, you, know, you ain't like that slipper fall. <laughs> you like that one. Okay. So I teenage years. Oh, let me go back. One that, I, it's a lot, but I'm talking about one that just, you ain't fucking with no form fashion. Okay, I'm going to give y'all mine. I'm really trying to think. For my, I'm back. For my teenagers, I learned that when people show you their true colors, believe them. Okay. And I will carry that with me forever. Facts. Yes, I learned that in school because you know, in, in your teenagers, you got a lot of friends. <laughs> well, I did. Different around other friends. And then you see shit that you <laughs> seen when they was your friend, but you thought yeah. you was untouchable. So, okay, so quick question. Okay, so I've been knowing you since I was a ch- in my team. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, so do you think that certain things that people did in their teens was just them being immature? But now they grown, but you still want to fuck with them because what they did in their teens? Yes. Okay. Yes. Do I think that like, them doing something in their teens was probably just a probably yeah. of being a teenager? Yeah. Yeah, but they scarred me, so. Yeah, if it's hard, like then like this. Yeah, if it's hard, yeah. It might be a character yeah. flaw because yeah. anything you can't change that if you ain't trust them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I thought about that. Like I had like people reach out to me. Now I don't know why these people reached out to me, but they reached out to me from like my teens, and I don't fuck with them no more like that. And they was like trying to be my friend, but I was like, hell no, like. <laughs> Like, I'm good. I'm not fucking with y'all. You know, but I felt like, you know, they could be potentially the same people they were when they were. Well, it depends on what they was doing back then. Because some stuff you know was just a product of me being a teenager. And some stuff you know, like, nah, that's you. Yeah. Because some stuff you know was a product. You know what was a product of a teenager because you was a teenager. Because if we adults now, that's nothing I want to go through again. Right. So I'm like, nah, I don't fuck with you because I don't want to go. The fuck I look like going through some shit I went through when I was a teen. Yeah, I'm not going back. 
Like I had a couple people reach out to me and I was like, nah, I'm good. Like we not we not we <laughs> living that shit. Saying. Yeah, like so I'm product of teenager or not you ain't fucking. Yeah, me. I was like, I'm <laughs> no, cause fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. Yeah, like I ain't I ain't fucking with it. You no. got me fucked up. I'm like, no. I agree. Like yeah. I just ain't dealing with it. And it, it, it and to other people it might be like petty little shit. But when you grown, you don't want to go through that petty shit again. Oh, what, the fuck I look like? what I learned as a teenager is just don't on me. What? That cornrow bad bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when you say that, did you receive karma or somebody else received karma? Both of them. Oh. Both of them. <laughs> okay. Both of them. Oh, and karma, when you find out karma is real. And it's your I'm trying karma. to think, have I ever received karma for anything I did that was stupid as fuck? Tuh, I have. Yeah. If not, it's coming back. So you better. <laughs> I'm really trying to think. All the nights of us meeting up in cars to go bust out girls windows and push you in that I house. never did that. This little bust out my window. Wait, wait, wait. Why car. is this not a, you? Sitting in the no, car. No, I was like, 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 Shit for real, like what did I do fucked up in my teenage years? 
Because I'm not vindictive, but I will come for you if you fuck up with me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not letting this slide. And see me, I'm different. If you fuck yeah, up with me, I'm done with you. Yeah, you like, I ain't gonna try to, like, go back. I'm, just, I'm done with you. Fuck you. Like, I never fuck with Today, you. Today, that's me, but the old me, yeah. though. Now, I, I won't even fuck with niggas from elementary in this whole if you did something bad to me. <laughs> like, I'm like, fuck you. Like, when I'm, like, if you do something bad to me and I know I was genuine to you, I'm never gonna ever fuck with you again. And right. tell me no, like, I'm telling the truth, like, I'll never fuck with you again. Like, I don't really, like, go back and try to, like. I don't believe in rekindling. I don't believe in second chances either. Yeah. That's for God. God will give you second chances. Go I don't give them hoes. I don't give them hoes to no man. I don't believe in going backwards. I don't yeah. believe in them. Mm-hmm. If I leave you alone for a reason, why go back? Yeah, friends, relationships. None of that. Yeah, I'm not I won't go back to friendships, but I do tend to go back to relationships. No, but that ain't fuck them niggas. That's the control part of it. It's just because I know what's gonna happen, so I know how it's gonna go, so you can't wear me. Fuck time. them. Then my mouth get reckless. So the we're second time we, we, we see y'all put my eyes in, so that's why I'll never be that close. The second time we get acquainted, you don't even know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I don't know. I ain't gonna not do that shit. <laughs> you gonna be I like, like, like I've been <laughs> friends in the past, and I will act like I don't know that nigga. Like they'll be like, "What's up, baby? Who is that, y'all? Because <laughs> I, 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 I don't fuck with people. Because oh, I, I like, look at you, and I'm that type. I look at you and act like I'm looking right past you. You can be speaking to me. If I, you know, you yeah. fucked up with me. I don't, we don't got nothing to talk about. Cause I guess that's a part of me too that I don't harbor like mm-hmm. bad energy. Like you know how some people be still fucked up about shit years later. Like I don't hold that shit in. I just act like I'm fucking ugly. That's why I'm not gonna make cause I don't keep holding it. I be yeah. so over it. I don't hold words, but I don't forget a motherfucking thing. I won't forget, but it's just a control part of me. And I forgive you. Mm-hmm. I just don't fuck with you no more. Yeah, yeah. I'm not holding no bad feelings with it's not no real. But I'm gonna fuck with somebody new. Like I ain't gonna fuck about you. Like we done. Okay, adulthood. Adulthood. Well, like twenties to thirty. Okay, hold on. Oh, family don't teach you the lesson. Holding uh, your friends. Oh my god, my family has fucked over their family. <laughs> your family gonna teach you. Your family gonna teach you more. Because the people closest to you <laughs> fuck <laughs> over you the fucking most. Though. Like. Like, fuck your friends. The your people family? closest to you will no. fuck over you the fucking most. Like, and you be looking like, bro, we didn't even have to get to this. We didn't have to think get to this. I think I kind of label myself as a black sheep or something because I don't give a fuck. You I don't even fuck with people like that. Like, fuck this. I'm not even my friend. Tell me, no, I don't fuck with nobody like that. I don't have friends. I fuck with y'all. Yeah. I don't really. For what? Like, I'm not disappointed. No. <laughs> I'm like, mm-hmm. me and my mama got the best of friends, so I feel like if he can come from her, he come. So I learned that at a young age. I didn't, I didn't yeah. Care. That's why I don't get attached. <laughs> because and I like, think that's why I'm fucked up now. Because if she can let you down, mm-hmm. anybody can fucking let you down. <laughs> <laughs> because me, it was me and my mama for the longest. Uh, when I, when, hold on, my birthday when I was there. Like three, four years? It went sour. Like, she really was literally trying to fight me. And we talk today, but it's not, it'll never go back to how I used to be. Because if it can come like that from my mama, a person on the street not no different, you know, you my mama, I came from you. Yeah. There's no reason we should have got to nothing like that. Right? Yeah. So, nah, yeah. I'm, I'm getting teary out now because I still don't understand. Like, how did it even come to that? I'm like, what was she going what was you, Yeah, like, like what was in your yeah. mind? But she's not the type of person I can go to and ask that. Yeah. So I'm gonna just take it to what it is. Now you still my mama love you to death, but you know, but I can't you. still love you from a distance. But you kind of, I can't give you my all anymore. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Like I you gotta fuck with people accordingly. I yeah. fuck with you how you fuck with me. That's, I don't know what this <clears> matter <throat> for my adulthood. I really don't be fucking with people though. Like as far as like doing that bad thing. I mean, they gotta be doing that thing. Um, yeah. that's true. That's true. Even karma can be good too, though. You know what? Let me get money to a homeless person. It'll come back to you in a different way. Or my thing. my kids. I will say this: like I chose the wrong father. Yeah. Oh, nothing wrong with their fathers. Their fathers take care of them, so it's not that. It's not that that they be there. It's, um, it's relationship wise. Yeah. Mother. Yeah, but I would never like put their fathers on blast to say that they bad, that like they great dads, great dads. Um, but I feel like um, I should have chose better fathers. Like as far as like, okay. uh, as far as like being in a relationship with them. I was just gonna say, not being bad fathers. Do you think you really missed out? 
Like you missed out on a relationship, but you got a good dad. Uh, that's what you wanted at the time. So what you mean? No, I was moving too fast. Now that I'm older, I realize like I was moving too fast. Like what I thought was great was not great. Um, I was just moving too fast. Like I'm just I'm so deep in it, and I should have slowed down and really just got to know them. Like that's who they are. You know what I'm saying? Really, did they do did they do something bad to me? No, because that's who they are. Mm-hmm. But if I would have slowed down, down and pay attention, yeah. the facts. They didn't really do nothing bad. They was being who the fuck they was. True. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I didn't slow down enough to say, you know what? So no. it's your mistake for not slow down. paying attention. Paying attention. Facts. Or taking the time Facts. to say. Facts. Okay. Facts. Hmm. Yeah. That's a Because I kind of like, I don't want to be, like, I'm on, I got two kids, two baby daddies. And I don't want to be like, um, I don't want to be that. I know other people might be like, Girl, I ain't nothing wrong with two baby daddies, but to me, I feel like I could have been better. Right. To me. That's just my personal uh, stature of myself, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The same that you ever just said. Yeah. I yeah. hope myself. I feel like I could have been so much fucking better. I, I was tripping. Tripping. But, yeah. You was in the, you got <laughs> lost in the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. It happens. Yeah. They keep saying it's for real. And like if I could get my kids past twenty five before they had kids, that's my goal. And then you like then get you my girls past twenty five. Cause Chris it, older than you, right? Yeah, he he's six years older than me. Yeah. But um, I don't know. I feel like a man before he's thirty don't know who he is. Like I feel like you still playing, you still don't wanna, know what he wants. Like I'm not gonna say that the the father of my child didn't love me, but they was too busy still running around, still wanting to do them still. So I, right. so that's the reason why I say I, if I can get my girls face 25 before they have kids, just so they can find a man that's actually already, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I know what I want to do now. Like, because I ain't going to say that they didn't love me. I'm going to just say, like, they just feel like they know how to love. Yeah. And I feel like you don't know yourself till you're 30. That's just my opinion. Some people, yeah, because I know some people that be telling me, well, girl, I married my husband at 24, 25, and my husband, no bitch. Okay, well, bitch, you was just a lucky one to find your soulmate early, bitch, okay? But uh, the rest of us, <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we we still behind. So I like, like, they didn't do nothing wrong, honestly. They was just being who they was. And I was too busy looking at, like, the potential of somebody rather than looking at who a person was at that moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that's why I said they're not bad fathers. It's just at that time going through what I was going through. Like, they, I, I shouldn't have did that. Like, I should have been way more careful yeah. not to have children. Right? Mm-hmm. So that's a lesson. Especially Yeah. Okay. I don't know what, what lesson I learned that I right now that I take in the future that's just I don't know because I've been chilling lately. That's why I ain't been having no, no nothing going on. I've been chilling. So. What about with your business? Do you feel like you could have started this shit like years ago? Like I mean, yeah, but that's kind of nothing I would take because I feel like no, that's supposed to happen how it's supposed to happen. I was supposed to start when I was supposed to start. Yeah. So that's not something I'd be like, in my life, make sure I start moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like that was, that was right on time at that point. This whole mind frame, new mind yeah. frame, that's why I can't take nothing from this because I just feel like it was right on time. Because even though I do say sometimes I wish back then I knew it, I still wasn't ready back then that's in true. my 20s. No, that's true. I wouldn't have been no focus. I'd have been wasting money. I wouldn't focus for nothing. Yeah, money. making one candle going two yeah. months, making another one exactly. going three months. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. No, that's true. So that's true. That I'm just uh, I be trying. I don't know. I don't know adulthood life. Lessons. Okay, so what about like dudes you fuck with? Like, what will I learn? I pause like the phone, FaceTime. Hey, bro, I have to think. I have to think. Okay, for fucking with somebody, I do know that I will not fuck with nobody who won't let me be myself. Facts. <laughs> bitch. That's, that's big for me because I Oh, like my fucking that God. That can be a lot if the people just let you be yourself instead I'm of an ideal person that they think you're supposed to be. Because the figment of their imagination, the expectations yeah, they have. Yeah, so. Oof. 
Then we had a conversation the other day. I was like, being pretty is a fucking gift and a fucking curse. Because these motherfuckers see you and they have an imagination of what they think you should fucking be. And then it's like, oh, you're this, but you're this, you're this. God damn, can you just get to fucking know me? Just get to know me. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I'm so fucking serious. I know this sounds funny, Tony, but I'm so no, fucking I, serious. I, I feel you. Like, motherfuckers do not want to get to know you. Or they just won't let you be you. They'll get to know you, and they'll decide they don't like you. Or they want to so change, change it. Facts. Yeah. They try to change it. Or they like you, or they don't want you to be like this. On social media, uh, yeah, or don't, like, don't, uh, don't, uh, do yeah, yeah. don't do this when we go in public. But this is how you make me. This is how you This what turned you on about me. Yeah, I'm gonna that over again. Facts. Yes. I guess. Facts. I done had motherfuckers tell me I need to stop wearing colorful hair. My neck. This was good enough when you met me. Now all of a sudden, I gotta change my whole fucking man. Like, and, and I've been this way since fucking kids. Facts. Have I not been dying my hair since we were fucking kids? Like, this ain't even a trend for me. You know how shit come in, come out. This ain't even a trend for me. I literally been dying my hair and wearing long nails since I was a fucking kid. So it's like for people to come in and try to change that, I'm like, are you serious right now? Like, fuck you, I'm not changing who I am. Like, I get asked to change the inside. Nah, you definitely me, should change that. That's me, more important than outside. Me being confident <laughs> or... No, fuck him. Me wondering if I don't even know what it is. Why <laughs> sisters never like or no? Why you jump up for your family so fast? Like I get shit like that. The only complaint I really have is my attitude, my mouth lip. Other than that, I don't think they try to change too much. I ain't going for that. I'm not going, <laughs> I ain't going, going for that. that. But, but you, I get asked yeah. to what they change, like, they got an issue with. Up. The one Virgo I had was the only control freak. <laughs> um, the one Virgo I had was the only control freak. Other than that, we like that good. Good. We no, 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 no. Like If you was lead me in the yeah. right direction, see, I can think. You wouldn't know. You just wanted to control. But you know what that means? Like, like some females are not a they dominant. Think. Yeah. So a lot of, I think a lot of males are used to females like uh, conforming. To yes, men. But then when you find a female that's like not. Nah, Fuck that, I'm not changing that. Like, they feel some type of way. And you know, I'm not completely dominant. I'm submissive when need be. I'm submissive to logical shit. When need be. Yeah. I'm but you ain't gonna If it's logical. Logical shit. I'm so not submissive. I hate the word. I hate to that nigga saying, you should be more submissive. Oh, oh. But the, okay, so see, most, most dudes who actually mention it, be on some bullshit. Yeah. I was just gonna say that. They if you actually submissive. saying the word submissive to me, it is some bullshit, it. bro. Like, I'm gonna be submissive to a, to a nigga that's really leading. And he ain't gotta fucking tell me he's leading for me to see I that he's leading. He lead. His <laughs> actions show me that he's leading. I'm gonna be submissive to a bitch because you're actually leading and you're not fucking telling me you're leading. You're doing that shit. I can't be submissive. Like, but I can be submissive. I but I could be submissive to conditions in the right situation. Because one thing about me, I like to do my own shit. So you gotta let me be submissive, but also let me do my, my own, own shit. Let me because I'm one of those people. Like I'm not gonna be happy if I got to be up with you all the fucking time. Like you gotta know that I'm gonna run my business. I'm gonna do this, do that, do this. Like you gotta know, and then I'm gonna be like, oh baby, where you at? <laughs> like, <laughs> like you gotta know this already. If you don't know that, and if you don't know that make me happy, it's gonna fuck everything up. Because I'm one of those people like, I ain't negotiating my happiness. That's not a negotiation. Nigga, this is what the fuck I wanna do, and if you're not with that shit, I'm out. Like, okay. so it's your way or the highway. I right? definitely believe in your way or the highway, and that's my motto all day. <laughs> Well, I ain't gonna say my way, but you gotta know how to compromise. Like, cause some men want you to be just up under them, worry about them, do them. And, and me, I, I I am happy having my own money, my own business, my own attributes, my own goals. So if you one of those people that want me to be up under you all the time, you can cancel it because I'm not that girl. I'm not that girl. And if a nigga want to be, want you to be up under my time, he damn sure ain't my money. Can't be. So what we gonna do? And even if he is money, I'm not gonna be like happy. He's not driven to do nothing. Yeah. You want me up under you all But day. let's just say he a boss and he gotta travel everywhere. I'm not with that because I'm not yeah, gonna be happy worrying about your money. I'm too busy worrying about your fucking money. 
I don't want to worry about your fucking money. I want to worry about my own fucking money. See, like, so you got to understand. I don't think no boss don't want you to come with him all day because he going to understand you a boss too. Yeah, like, every now and then he going to probably see, okay, come see me, come chill with me. That's compromising. I can do that. Every now and then. But, I, I, okay. I'm but, thinking typically these niggas ain't going to. Typically the niggas that want you to be a fucking man ain't doing shit. shit. <laughs>
Like, it's I'm, not about I'm one of them. I just can't. I'm one of them people right now. I'm, but I'm one of them people. Like when I gotta go, I don't give a fuck who don't agree with the go. I don't give a fuck who don't. Uh, and it's yeah, not. Okay. It's not no because I think he's not gonna be supportive, or he. I just know me. I know Dick distracts me. Oh, um, so distract me. Yeah, it will distract me. Yeah, yeah. I think that's my problem. Yeah, because a lot of people don't like too. Well, that definitely. But I'm gonna say, <laughs> if I got, if I'm <laughs> fucking with a nigga and I'm trying to run my business, it's gonna be hard busting it, busting. Because not just saying he gonna want some of my time, I'm gonna want some of his time too. Because if he my nigga, of course I'm fucking with. Him. It ain't like we just conversating. Not just dating the nigga. But he gotta understand business. too. He right. does, but how much understanding, Devin? Let's not but be I'm selfish. See? Right. I'm just saying, let's not be selfish. I just said, and I feel like if we gotta go, like, like I feel like if it's a, like, maybe I just Devin, but it's Maybe I think it's a bigger bitch. Fuck that relationship. Like, I'm gonna let that shit go. Like, bro, you should understand. Like, you're doing a That's goal. what I'm saying. Like, like and then if I'm not trying to be mean. You with like, somebody, they got If you with this person, we talking about a real relationship. Right. Yeah, it's not a situation. Yeah. We're talking about a real relationship. This is a real relationship. Y'all already understand what each other's aspirations are. Thanks. So when I told you that I was going to start this business five, ten, however long we've been together, maybe two days from now, it shouldn't matter. You you should understand you got your own thing you're trying to do. Yeah, so your yeah. business is taking off. Well, yeah. exactly. it's, it's just like Turkey Day could. They got in it together. That's mm-hmm. different. Mm-hmm. But I'm pretty sure Diddy and whoever else, all these other people, I don't know what they do. I don't know what they do. Who, whoever the women that was with, what they, whatever they did. But what I'm saying, like, like that's why I rather really not started with no person. Yeah, I rather really be like, cause I, I, I just by myself because I ain't got time for that. It takes a lot. Unless, unless you, you just a nigga that know. If you a nigga that started your own business, most times they know already. So they like, babe, take care of that shit. Babe, bring the bag home. Yeah, type of shit. it's in your business. Like, so if you too far in your bag, you ain't been home. Because you've been at the warehouse. Okay, but then if he, if he come at me and be like, okay, you got the bag. Exactly. When you coming home, then okay, I understand it. But if I ain't got the bag yet, I ain't got the. So you got to understand how oh, So man. what if it takes you a while to get the bag? You ain't living okay. in there home by yourself. He going to go with somebody else. Fuck that's, that's, why, that's why I say without. Damn, I'm with you without. I'm yeah. with you. I'm just putting because I'm not I'm saying that like, it's, it's a bad It's a bigger dude. picture to me. And if that person can't see that bigger picture. Yeah, I ain't and this, to me, that's how I understand I put too much into it then because yeah. it shouldn't matter with or without. I'm still gonna fuck this motherfucker. Yeah, oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's no, just, but what I'm saying is like the symptoms of with or without. I'm I'm just not registering y'all symptoms. You get what I'm saying? Because y'all saying that it's a distraction. I don't, you know, it ain't it gonna be a distraction for me because I'm one of those people. I'm gonna love you and I'm still gonna go out and do what I need to do. Like, so to me, a man ain't a distraction, but he gotta understand because I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm. I'm not going to steer away from my own happiness. Like, if this, if what I'm doing make me happy, I'm not going to steer away from my own happiness to come back around and come to you. Like, that, but I feel like it should be a two-way relationship because you should understand this right me happy. You feel me? Now, if, nigga, you got to get on some flights with me or do whatever the fuck you need to do with me and be along my side while I do it, then I feel like that's supportive to me. But if you just feel like I got to be home and do this, do that, no, nah, like you got to make this shit work. Yeah, I'm just saying, when you're in a relationship, that's you know, what I'm you saying. You have like, to give something to your man. If I find that you're not happy no more, I'm good. Why would, why would you want to be with me? Why would you want to be with me? Well, no, because no, he's not that. That's what I'm saying. It's not like he's a bad guy. No, it's not that he's a bad guy. I just... Some people, you ever find yourself in a relationship with somebody and they just don't understand what you're trying to do. Well, yeah. They don't see the goal. Maybe that's your vision, but he don't see the vision, you feel me? But you see the vision. So some people, you some people you outgrow. It ain't that he a bad guy. No, it's yeah, just, that's look, true. you don't see my vision. So what if he so see the vision? So he's But it's still... But if you see the vision, he gonna be with me. You think? For yeah. how long? She, that, I don't give a fuck about how long. Like, I'm going to be thinking about that because I feel like if you're with me, like, we should think about each other's visions, you feel me? Like, I should, I don't want to be selfish, I don't want to be selfish enough to be like, well, nigga, this is how we started, so this is how we going to end type of shit. Like, like, I need, like, this is, okay, just say for instance, hypothetically, you find a dude, he just as ambitious as you. Like, this nigga got, hypothetically, five businesses, and hypothetically, you got four, you feel me? Y'all busy as fuck. Right. So, what I'm saying is, I don't want him nor her. To put that shit over above one or another, like right. if I gotta take a motherfucking flight, 
right after I leave a fucking business meeting, I'm going to take a fucking flight. But he understands that I'm only going to be with him 24 hours and then I'm going to go with him. And he understands, you know what I'm saying? Like, he understands it. Like, so I don't want to, one thing I don't want to do is give up my happiness just to be with a man. Like, I'm over it. I'm done with it. We ain't doing that, damn. Like, so if you, if owning these businesses make you happy, if owning these businesses make you happy and these businesses keep you away from your man, he needs to get on a fucking flight. And he need to be right beside your ass at the fucking meeting. Need to be. You want to? But I'm. But I'm saying. I'm saying if he wants you at home, he wants you at home. Okay, nigga, you want to be with me? Get the fuck on the flight. That man. Like, and I thought I was terrible. You don't know what she's doing. She's a little demanding. Yeah, I'm not giving anything. anything. You don't have to. This, this is what this is the perspective I was coming from. I'm not saying you gotta give up nothing. Oh, he did. I'm just saying when you're in a relationship, that's a lot too. Being in a relationship and running a business, they both take the same amount of energy. You're going to lose your man if you can't tend to him because your business is more I important. And nine times out of ten, ten times out of ten, your business is going to be more important. Yeah. So you're going to smack. Yeah, you say come on a flight, but how long he going to be coming on these flights? It's up to you. Is he going to be five years still coming on flights? It's up to you. Because he can't get a piece of your time. Okay, so that's is. different though. Cause that's got, what I'm saying. But if I got a plan and I'm telling you, okay, within four years, we're going to be good. I ain't going to have to do all this. You know what I'm saying? No business what is going on? You can't say I ain't going to be doing this in four years. I'm just saying, depending on what you're trying to yeah, do. No, man. If you just start the business, then you know I got to put in work. But if you already into that shit, then I might not have to put in work. Because now I got employees. Now I got assistants. Then now you're still going to be on the move. Because once that business is solidified with employees, you want another one. That's true. I would think that shit addictive. Yeah, yeah so that's, that's the only thing I say no because it's just it's a lot. It's, when you're in a relationship, they on the miss, they get both equal amount of time, if not more than the other. Ooh, so it's hard. That shit up. Especially when it's a nigga <laughs> that you really fuck with, you ain't trying to lose your nigga because you got a business. Oh. You want both of them. But why can't we just compromise it? So because it's business. Business don't work like that. Business take your. I'm trying to join the nigga. Like oh well, he got to fall in line or not? Because the business is the only up and down thing we doing. Him being up and down is not. And the only reason I'm saying that because people change their mind. And they want the fucking money. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like people, then they just wake up tomorrow and say, you know what, damn, this this ain't happening for me. But that nigga can do whatever you want. But I still got my money and my resources and my. Well, that nigga can do whatever you want just because he know you want to. People, humans in general, are not. um, so when when do we get a man, David? Since we without one, cause friends still. I guess. That's why I'm signing over him. I guess I'm to the point to where I'm like, I ain't with you, you know. <laughs> them, days, know. them days, you ain't got nobody to bring it out loud to get tough. That shit make you stronger, but that shit, cause that's what I be looking at right now. Like, damn. Well, I'll call you, bitch. We better not have to conversation. Yeah, I'm gonna call you. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna call you.
what, what, when the man gonna come help? Well, how he gonna help? That's, that's a, ooh, well, that's, he can help me emotionally because okay. physically, I got this. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me hear. Let me hear. Yeah, because I don't know if I want to help me emotionally. Tell them about it.
and don't have to see them. Like if I don't like you, I just want to get to business and move along because I don't really like you. You cool, but I don't like you. Yeah. Yeah, like you cool. I can't. Like I'm yeah, I can't. <laughs> I'm, I used to be smashing past people. Not no more. I don't know. I like sex. I've never been that tight, though. Not that it's bad. But I but it, it, it wasn't really like. like Okay, I have to talk to this nigga. I'm gonna smash him like this, and I ain't have to like I think I'm gonna get in it for what I want. That's true, but I still be leaning in there like, what the fuck? This is the video. Girl, I'm getting it popping. I don't know why it's just in my mind. In my mind, I'm like, I'm gonna smash I like sex. When I was younger, I ain't know I like this. Yeah, I fucking with you. Yeah, I can fuck you a couple times, but still don't like you. You dangerous bitch. I You dangerous. Yeah, you dangerous. We fucking, I ain't, we ain't made up. Cause you ain't gonna play with me. This ain't just my fucking pussy. Oh, but see, but that's what makes her dangerous because she a girl. Yeah, she can fuck me. I might be emotionally attached. I'm gonna get up and leave right after. I have had niggas lay there like we about to cuddle. What the fuck? I'm snucking out so many times. Lay down like y'all about to cuddle, no cuddling, no cuddling. Somebody call my phone right now. Time to go. Yo, Uber outside, looking yes. at this. <laughs> <laughs> now I have people used to call me because I like get up in the middle of the night, like if they sleep or whatever, like four day in the morning, and I'm putting on my phone, I'm leaving, and they mad, like, yeah, you just did. Yeah, I don't lay. I ain't laying I ain't laying now. I came here to do my job. We <laughs> damn good place <laughs> now. Well, yeah. one lesson from my past is not to date somebody that's not ambitious. It's me, so. I learned, I learned that about two years ago. <laughs> Three years ago. I had never dealt with nobody who wasn't, who didn't have some kind of drive. So that was new for me. I was like, oh, you didn't even want to go hustle dime sick, crack rocks on the corner. God damn, what you want to do? <laughs> so she yeah, I, I, I witnessed that. So I can, I can see you on that one. Yeah. That, that is unattractive. I can't talk to you about nothing. So we're gonna get the side notes. Yeah, we're gonna Because I think we I feel like we're going into the side of unacceptable traits. Okay. And that's one of them. <laughs> the little side notes. So what are unacceptable traits that you would definitely not want to deal with? When it comes to like the opposite sex. Being rude. Yeah. I do not like that. I don't not like is that really a reason to be rude? That motherfuckers just be rude. Some people just have nasty attitudes. And I, yeah. This is coming from a person that used to have a nasty attitude until I looked at my sister and realized that's not cute. That's not none of that. That shit nasty. That's ugly. Yeah. Some girls are cute with nasty ass attitudes and that makes them ugly. But this ain't even about girls. It's about niggas that are rude. Yeah. To even, and it's not even about sugary. But even as a friendship, you don't want a, a rude ass bitch. Even if that's your friend. Yeah, even if that's your friend. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want no rude. Like, you shut the fuck up. You always rude. Like, no filter on what they say. Yeah. Which is okay sometimes. I but can do no filter. It's just, it's not what you say. It's, it's how you say it. Yeah. But, I like, you say saying rude people yeah. that don't care. And it's people out there like that. I can't deal with it. Okay. Um, Mine would probably be no ambition. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's one of Fuck that dog. Like I 
guess I done had my share of niggas talk, 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 talk about what they yeah. can do. And I'm over it. I'm like, I don't want to hear no more fucking talk, nigga. Show me that you moving towards it. And I ain't saying he got to have his shit together. But what I'm saying is, if it's 15 steps, I need to see you on the first step. Right. So I can know that you moving towards something. And then it maybe in six months, see you on the second step. You feel me? But if you still on the first step and it's been two years, nigga, I'm good on your potential, nigga. We good. Nigga, take your ass back. I agree. If it's taking you that like, long, nah, it's nah, I'm good. good. Like, Fuck with a nigga, I don't know potential shit. Oh, what did you get with him in six months? He, he got some shaking. You you feel? Yeah, I gotta see you moving. I I'm saying that, no, but that's that's a so it ain't. Yeah, if you moving, I see it's you fine. moving. Yeah, that's that's potential. That's potential. That's real potential. But she these things, that yeah, she is dead. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm looking at. Like she did. Yeah, that. I, 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 I'm, I I be. Then you know I met a nigga. So I done met a nigga. One time he made me laugh so fucking hard. He was so fucking mad at me because I laughed in his face. And I asked that nigga, what do you do? That nigga said, I'm a CEO. I said, nigga, of what? Of what? What, what do you do? Because if I ask you what you do, and the first thing come out your motherfucking mouth is you a CEO. Of what? What the fuck are you a CEO of? Like, nigga, nigga sell weed. Nigga ain't shit. He's a street farmer. Nigga ain't shit. I'm, I'm sorry to say street pharmacist, you ain't shit. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? Because it ain't, let's be honest. I'm going to put a pause on you right there. Hold on, I know. Hold on. Pause, she's like, I see. Pause, she's like, I see. Pause, she's like, I see. Okay, so let me pause on that. Because if you are a nigga that sell weed and you still can barely pay your motherfucking rent, you ain't shit. But if you a nigga that's really moving some shit, okay. But even then, I still don't think you ain't shit because if you ain't trying to get oh out of this illegal shit and make something with the real money that you making, you still ain't shit to you me. To the end. Yeah, because you either going to be dead or motherfucking in jail. It's two things come from that illegal ass bullshit. Yeah. So if you moving weight, real weight, okay. Yeah, okay, so how are we going to convert legal, uh, I'm talking about the weed, uh, the legal weed. Them little weed men don't be doing shit.